this is Coffee Hound Retro Sharker, and welcome back to Nostalgia Nibbles. We take a light bite of a retro game, not a big bite, just a wee nibble for 30 or so minutes. A sharky showcase, if you will. On today's menu, we have something I had no idea I was going to be recording this weekend. And this is a brawler, a 2D brawler, from 1994 and 1985. It was a launch title for the original PlayStation. Tiketsu Ayako, I think is the uh, pronunciation. It was also ported to the Saturn in 1995. And that is a version we're going to be playing, as it is significantly improved over the original launch title for the PlayStation, the version there. So yeah, I saw this mentioned on a um, list of bad games he loves on Sega Lord X's channel. And I thought, oh, a, a brawler, a 2D brawler in for the PlayStation. And then I found out about, about the uh, Saturn version. So yeah, I'm going to be giving it a, uh, giving, giving it a go. It's from uh, Technosoft. And yeah, if you think of the direction that the PlayStation was going and launched on, the strength of its 3D engine, uh, and then and then came this brawler, it's, uh, yeah, very much a threat, very much a, uh, a Streets of Rage style one, but apparently with a more of a, a light-hearted tone and sense of humour, which sounds up my alley as well. So, yes, let's uh, dive in. As I say, I'm playing the Saturn version. So it's the, uh, it was never released outside of Japan. The PlayStation version has a fan translation to English, but there's no such uh, translation for Saturn, unfortunately. But since it's the, regarded as the best version, I thought we'll give it a go anyway. And for my little trial run of it, to make sure it runs okay, on um, Beetle Saturn, it ran f it's um, English all the way from obviously in once you pass the title screen. So yeah, it's uh, let's get it started then. We get uh, a choice of three characters here, and yet yeah, the usual uh, loadout of uh, once skill heavy or once the uh, <laughs> female character calls his speed heavy as well. We'll go for this uh, this lasser here. Hope you're having a, uh, a lovely weekend and uh, happy Easter. Mecha Tokyo 2064. Oh wow, this is <laughs> well in the future then. So yes, it's, uh, it's very Streets of Rage, but it's got that, uh, you can see the character signs a lot more uh, cartoony. We got oh we got a uh, a massive hammer and a boxing glove clad goons in the streets. Oh, there's our special attack. What's a uh, is that a white Saturn? Oh, it's yeah, it's a Saturn. <laughs> I presume that'll be PlayStation. It'd be amusing if it was uh, a Saturn anyway in the PlayStation version. But yeah, from my, where I saw the colours a lot richer on the Saturn version, there's additional animations, and it also sounds better as well. Oh, we got a uh, rifle there. Oh, lovely. That's what we need. Can we take this? It seems not. I've, I've, oh, I've used all my... Oh, thank you. If we couldn't pick something up. Holding the rifle. Ow! How dare you throw a knife at me. Take this uh, sledgehammer to the face here. Ah, so you can, you can spin around. Oh, lovely. Oh, nice. So there's... there's I, I wonder if this is regarded as a bad a bad game simply because of it was a 2D brawler in an age where age of uh, Tekken's and uh, Virtua Fighters 
a bit like how uh, Rapid Reload and In The Hunt was unfairly maligned on release and now regarded as uh, rare and <laughs> sadly expensive gems to collect. Get it. Delicious milk. Thank you. Ah, I said it's best boss time. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this stands to a stage transition. Ooh. This is cool. Okay, Saturn's in the window. Okay, smash these and take them. So this is like, oh, it's very, very, uh... I, I'm digging the uh, aesthetic of this future world of 2064 where it's, uh... The, the, the 80s seems to come back wrapped in like 50s-ness in car designs. It's like, yeah, the 80s and 90s wrapped in 50s-ness as well. Oh, what did we do there? Aha! Block. <laughs> Some kind of futuristic uh, boxy SMG here. Yeah, I like this. Oh, there we go. Oh, mustn't mustn't forget about my special attack. Actually, jump into cars? That would be cool. We're a uh, we're a destructive little minx, aren't we? Nice, got a double dash. Dash and clear. Ah, that's a surprising amount of moves, yeah, variation of moves, and the animations are lovely. Yeah, I have a. I have a, uh, a long standing love of brawl, of these kind of brawlers. So, yes, this is. Uh, there's a good chance of more automatic shooting for me. Oops. Please. I dare you. Oh, <laughs> did it again. Not one of these characters here. Yeah. <laughs> Please. IGN board. I shall uh, send an email complaint. I should take the spotlight. I guess that's for the ah, maybe it's for the second player to stand in as well. You can take a, you can pose. Oh, neat. That's that. There's certainly a generous amount of health pickups. Oh, 
Ah, our first pass. Ikita. Ikita, maybe. Never truly defeated until the very end. Oh. Oh dear. Quick. Um. If you'd asked me what co was causing that and what was better to happen afterwards, uh, being swallowed by a giant whale was probably the last thing I would say. Um. Yeah, we appear to be in a whale's. Uh. <laughs> Um, and if you said illithids with boxing gloves and spitting in gizzards would be uh, would greet us, that would be the last thing I'd, I'd say as well. Oh dear, did you uh, did you fall in as well? has been all within another year. All been within the first 10 minutes of the game. <laughs> How amazing. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little gem. I'm glad I uh, came to know. Nothing wrong with the PlayStation version. It's just the uh, Saturn version is the superior one. So if you prefer to play the PlayStation version, uh, do so. I uh, just re play this game. Re I recommend it in whatever form. And you might think it was a, it'd be like an arcade version as well. This was an arcade port, but no, it was designed specifically for the PlayStation as a launch title in Japan. But that's that still blows my mind that the PlayStation came out in 1994 in Japan. much attention to the names as I usually do with these brawlers this time. Ox, I wonder if there's uh, letters missing? I don't know. Um, I have a feeling yes, it's... it's I have to look this up. I, Feeling the letters being cut off. In. Oi. Oh, that poor guy shot by his own side. Friendly fire, friendly fire. Oh, that's a blob man, I think. Oh no, we swept away in the... Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to know, no. Oh, we've emerged at the blowhole. Oh no, we've been spouted out. Oh gosh.
I'm, I'm really digging the soundtrack as well. Oh, whoops, wrong button. That's not bad, that's our first life lost. Come here, squiddy things. I really like how fluid the it's um, really fluid the combat is. Only. We can't have beer. <laughs> what a responsible game. We can't have beer, but we can throw grenades about. Uh oh. Yeah, this might be where the difficulty spikes. That's right there, lovely. I just found that we can use our, uh, as like a pogo stick. Ah, take that, world clear. Where is this whale going to deliver us? Oh, away you go, sir. Ooh. To a tropical island. Hero Crawl Island. Oh. Well, what a uh, welcome party.
Take that. Swept and drowned away. Ah, survivor. Oh, how dare you. Ninjas. Very cool shades. I think it's about the feet. Oh, here we go. We're taking around a uh, a monorail thingy. But yeah, I I love the sense of humor this game's got, and the the general aesthetic, and it's absolutely gorgeous as well. I think what we'll do is we'll play to the end of this because uh, it's drawing close to the end of the uh, end of the episode. Come from thirty minutes. We'll just uh, oh gosh, there's a lot here. We'll just play to the end of this life, and we'll call it a nibble. Oh, oh, oh. is that the end of our life then? Oh, now we put extra life up. How handy. That's a lot of enemies, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh dear, bumpy landing. Oh, yes. As you might expect, do not stand in the way of the trolleys. Oh, and we are down. And with that, we will call it an episode. And that was a lot of fun, checking that out. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. It may not be uh, groundbreaking, but it just feels very popular. It feels like pretty, pretty much like you, you think Arcade Perfect would be. If it had been an arcade game. But yes, I heartily recommend this. If you're a fan of Brawlers, check this out on, on your platform of choice, PlayStation or Saturn. And I hope you enjoy watching and checking it out with me. So yeah, until the next Nostalgia Nibbles. Oh, if you're watching this um, in the morning of Sunday, the morning of Sunday, where yeah, what a dramatic statement. <laughs> if you're watching on Sunday morning, I'm streaming, Show and I are streaming again on Twitch and YouTube at 7 p.m. BST. Um, I'm not sure what we'll be streaming yet. Probably more arcade, might be uh, Brawlers. But yes, uh, for now, until the next Nostalgia Nibbles, this is Coffee Hand Retro Sharker signing off.